Hello. So in this demo, I will show you how to use the templates in Pictory to represent multiple brands that you might have uh, videos for. So let's say we have a project that's, that we've built and we want to create multiple brands from this project. Uh, and uh, it, it has a template that's already applied called the Pictory default template. So I'm going to change that to maybe something else that I really like. So um, I really like one of these templates, this Moonrise template. So I'm going to select this. So it's going to change that the way the text shows up and the way the the way the text is animated, it changes it based on that style. So um, now say I want to make some changes to that to that template. Um, I instead of the blue, I want to use the Pictory purple. Uh, for my highlights. So I can go in there and uh, you can change the colors right here. So my Pictory purple color, I want to use it for the highlights and I want to use maybe white for the for the text. So that's what my, let's suppose my template style that I like looks like this. So I can save this as a style now. I can say, hey, this is my new style. I'm gonna call it uh, Moonrise Victory. And I'm gonna save it as a style. And in fact, I'm gonna apply it to all the scenes as well, right from here. And then I'm gonna change and add this style to my template. So now the template has been duplicated. It's given a name Moonrise 1. I'm gonna call it Moonrise Victory. So that's my new template, uh, Moonrise Victory template. Uh, I'm going to call this my, my style and I'm going to make this uh, as my default scene style. So every time I create a scene, it's going to use this white text with the purple uh, highlights. And now say I want to use, uh, I want to set up some branding here. So I want to, I want to add a logo. So I go into the branding, I add a logo and I say use a square logo because this is a square video, I'm gonna use my square logo. And uh, I can also, as a part of the branding, I can set intros and outros. So I'm not gonna do that right now, I'm just gonna show it with the logos. So now I have this template set up uh, and uh, with this logo, and, and I, maybe I'll call it Victory Square template. And I have this set up now with my, anytime I make a square video, I will use, apply this template to it. So now say I want to create a copy of this. I want to create another template, but this time more for horizontal videos. So let's make this video into a horizontal video first. And, uh, and this, this is how you see the horizontal template will appear. And I'm going to now duplicate this template because I want to create one for horizontal um, styles and I'm going to call it Victory Horizontal Template. And, uh, and in this horizontal template, I want to I wanted to use a different logo. So instead of using the square logo, I'm going to use my horizontal logo. So I'm loading that up and, uh, and now you see the horizontal logo showing up here on all the scenes. So, so now I can, now I have two templates defined. You can, you can think of it as two different brands, uh, but these two templates are defined and one is a horizontal template with a horizontal logo. One is a square template with a square logo, but you can have multiple templates for your different clients, for, uh, for different types of videos, for different channels. And in the same way, you, you, can, you can define many different templates. So when you're ready to apply the template, you, you would just go here and say change template and it will show me my two, two templates that I just dis I defined. I defined the horizontal template and the square template. So under my templates, you will see all the different templates that you define. And again, you can use it for different client videos, for different types of videos, for different brands that you have. So this is how you use templates to manage multiple brands in Pictory. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, we will continue to show you more examples like this on how to use Victory better. Thank you.